Hi everyone, welcome to the next GCSE Foundation revision video. It's 78 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam and in today's video we're going to focus on angles and polygons and I'm going to avoid telling any jokes about missing parrots is gone and then what I'm going to do is focus on how to find missing angles in polygons. If you've got the revision cards, revision card number five, angles and polygons, will be quite useful. It goes through all the different polygons, or well, from triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon and octagon, what the sum of the interior angles are and how to find some of the interior angles. And likewise then there's a revision card number six which goes through interior and exterior angles and that's what might be useful as well. But in this video I'm going to go through all that key information and I'm going to go through some questions that I'm going to show you how to do and then I'm going to get you to pause and try some questions yourself. So I really hope you're going to find this video useful and let's get started. Okay, so today's topic is angles and polygons. So angles and polygons, and I really like this topic, and we've got angles and polygons, well, a triangle, the angles add up to 180 degrees, a quadrilateral, a four-sided shape, they add up to 360 degrees, a pentagon, they add up to 540, a hexagon, 720, and so on. And every single time you add another side, you add on another 180 degrees to the interior angles, what the angles inside the shape add up to. So for instance, for a nonagon, a nine-sided shape, you add another 180, and so on. Okay, so let's have a look at a question. So here we've got an irregular polygon. That's an irregular polygon because the angles aren't the same as each other. If they're all the same, then it's called a regular polygon. This is an irregular polygon. And you've been asked to find the size of this angle X. And feel free to pause the video now to try and find the size of this angle. Okay, so to find the size of this angle, it's a pentagon because there's one, two, three, four, five angles or five sides. That means the angles will add up to be 540 degrees. So we just need to add together the four angles we've been given and to take that away from 540 degrees. So let's do that. So adding these angles together, doing 130 plus 95 plus 138 plus 80 would give us 443 degrees. Now we just need to take that away from 540. So 540 degrees subtract 443 degrees is equal to 97 degrees. So that means the size of this angle is 97 degrees and hopefully you got that right. Okay, so that's finding the size of a missing angle in this irregular polygon. Okay, let's go a little bit further. So to find the sum of the interior angles, what we do is we can use the formula n take away 2 multiplied by 180. So for instance, if we wanted to find the size of the angles or what the angles add up to inside of an octagon, we could take the number of sides, which is 8, take away 2, we give us 6, and then do 6 times 180. And that would give us 1080 degrees. So that's n take away 2, the number of sides, take away 2, multiplied by 180 degrees. And that will give you what the angles inside of the polygon add up to. And it's a really useful formula. So let's have a look at some questions which use that. So again, feel free to pause the video now and try these questions yourself yourself and then whenever you're ready press play okay so the question says find the sum of the interior angles of a nine-sided polygon so it's nine sides so we're going to do nine take away two and that's equal to seven and then we're going to do seven multiplied by 180 and whenever we do seven multiplied by 180 seven multiplied by 180 degrees is equal to 1260 degrees so the angles inside of a nine-sided polygon will add together to be 1260 degrees Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this question says the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 3960 degrees. Find how many sides it has. So we just need to work backwards now. So what we're going to do is we normally take away 2 and multiply by 180. So if we take the 3960 and divide by 180 to begin with, so 3960 divided by 180 is equal to 22. And then we normally take away 2, so we're going to work backwards. We're adding 2, so we're going to add 2. So if we do 22 plus 2, that's equal to 22. 24 sides. So a 24 sided polygon, the angles inside of it, the interior angles will add together to be 3960. So how many sides does it have? 24. Okay, let's have a look at another question. And again, feel free to pause the video and to try this question yourself. So the question says, find the size of each interior angle of a regular pentagon. So what we want to do is we've got a regular pentagon this time. So this is a polygon, a pentagon that is regular. That means that all the angles are the same size. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the size of each interior angle. So let's find what the angles add up to in the side of a pentagon. So I know that's equal to 540 already because you've got 360 for a four-sided uh, shape, a quadrilateral. And if we added another 180, that would be 540. Alternatively, we could do... 5, the number of sides, take away 2, which is equal to 3, times by 180, and that's equal to 540 degrees. So that means the interior angles of a pentagon, a regular pentagon, will add together to be 540 degrees. Now, because it's a regular pentagon, that means all of the angles are the same size. So if we take our 540 degrees and divide that by 5, that'll be the size of each interior angle. So 540 divided by 5 is equal to 108 degrees. So that means that each interior angle of a regular pentagon is 108 degrees.
Okay, so we've looked at interior angles. Now let's have a look at exterior angles. So here we've got a regular pentagon. And as you can see in green, we've got those interior angles, 108 degrees, 108 degrees, 108 degrees, 108 degrees, and 108 degrees. Now, if you carry on each side, so if you carried on each straight side of that pentagon, you would get a diagram that looks something like this, where you carry them all on, you would get the, then these red angles. And these red angles are exterior angles. And each one of them, because it's a straight line, if you go at 108 degrees, each of those red angles is 72 degrees. And if you consider 72, 72, 72, 72, and 72, 5 72s is 360. Now, no matter what polygon you do that for, and you look at those exterior angles, they will always add together to be 360. So the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees, and that's an important thing to remember. And also the fact that the interior angle and the exterior angle will always add together to be 180 degrees. And that's it. So this is quite a useful bit of information. So let's have a look at some questions now. So here we've got two questions, and again, feel free to press pause and to try these questions now yourself. Okay, so the first question says, find the size of each exterior angle of a 15-sided regular polygon. So it's regular, so all the exterior angles will be the same, and we know that all the exterior angles will always add together to be 360 degrees. So if we do 360 degrees, and then divide that by 15, because it's 15 sides, so if there's 15 sides, it's 15 exterior angles. So 360 divided by 15 is equal to 24 degrees. So that means each exterior angle, each of those outside angles, those exterior angles, is 24 degrees. And then the question says, find the size of each interior angle of a 15-sided regular polygon. Well, the interior angle and the exterior angle, they always add together to be 180 degrees. If we have a look here, the interior angle and the exterior angle, they always add together to be 180 degrees. So if we do 180, subtract 24 degrees, then that will tell us the size of the interior angle. So 180, take away 24, is equal to 156 degrees. So that means that each exterior angle is 24 degrees, and each interior angle is 156 degrees. And that's it. And this question, just to point out that sometimes you could have done this question here at the bottom using a different approach. If it wanted to work out the size of each interior angle of a 15-sided regular polygon, you could have done 15 take away 2, which is 13, times that by 180 and got that answer, and then divided by 15, and then you would have got 156. But this approach is probably just a little bit simpler. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. So our last question here is we have got part of a regular polygon. So it says shown below is an interior angle, so one interior angle of a regular polygon. And we've been asked to calculate the number of sides the polygon has, and this is a 174 degrees. And because it's regular, it means that all the angles inside of this regular polygon are 174 degrees. Okay, again, feel free to press pause and try this question out yourself if you want to. Okay, so if the size of the interior angle is 174 degrees, what I would do is I would work out the size of the exterior angle. And that's meant to be a straight line. And if this is 174 degrees, that means that this angle here would be 6 degrees because the interior angle and the exterior angle always add together to be 180 degrees. Now, all the exterior angles of this regular polygon will have to add together to be 360 degrees. So that means that all of these exterior angles, whenever you add up all these sixes, you're going to get 360 degrees. So if we do 360 divided by the size of one of the exterior angles, which is 6, Six, that's equal to 60. So that means there's 60 exterior angles, and if there's 60 exterior angles, that means there's going to be 60 sides, and that's it. So that means this regular polygon has got 60 sides. Okay, so in this video, we've gone through angles and polygons. We've looked at what the angles in a polygons add up to, so 180 degrees for triangles and so on. And then we've looked at the formula n take away 2 times 180. So take 2 off the number of sides and multiply by 180, and that'll tell you the sum of the interior angles. Also, a very useful fact is that all the exterior angles will always add together to be 360, and that the interior angle and the exterior angle will always add together to be 180 degrees. And that's it. So in this video, if you want to do more practice on angles and polygons, if you go to the description below, there's a link to the Corp Maps questions on angles and polygons, and I'd highly recommend that. And I hope you find this useful. Cheers. And that's it. So in this video, we've gone through angles and polygons. The fact that the angles inside of a polygon will always add up to n minus 2 multiplied by 180, where we take 2 off the number of sides and then multiply by 180, and that'll tell you what the angles inside of a shape add up to, those interior angles. That the exterior angles will always add up together to be 360 degrees, and that might be useful if, for instance, you want to find out how many sides a polygon's got and so on. And the fact that an interior angle and an exterior angle will always add together to be 180 degrees. So we really hope you find this video useful. Um, tomorrow's video will be at 3 o'clock. Obviously, it's going to be 77 days to go into your GCSE maths exams. So I hope you're going to find tomorrow's one useful as well. If you have found this video useful, please like and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.